might be selection, if I may say. I'll be the judge of that. That's rather potent. Not the cork, your aftershave. Strong enough to bury anything. But the wine is quite excellent. Although for such a grand meal, I had rather expected a claret. Of course. Unfortunately, our cellar is rather poorly stocked with clarets. Mouton Rothschild is a claret. And I've smelt that after shave before. And both times I've smelt a rat. Only James Bond can order a bottle of wine with real class. Now, if you don't know the difference between a Cabernet and a Chardonnay, you're going to love our next guest. Lou Perdue is a wine expert, publisher of Smart Wine Magazine, and self-proclaimed wine non-snob. Today, he's brought some very affordable bottles of wine. Hey, Lou, how you doing? I'm very glad to be here. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet here. So, the difference between a Cabernet and a Chardonnay? Uh, <laughs> it's whether you like one or the other. There you uh, go. One's red, one's white. <laughs> hey, uh, so, how can you be an expert on wine without being an expert on wine? Well, you know what I'm saying? Well, you know, a lot of people think you have to understand wine to enjoy it. Mm -hmm. You don't have to understand Snapple, right? You just know <laughs> what you like to drink. Okay, so, what you can do is you can get a book like this, it's almost as big as Leah's, uh, and you can read this, or you can go with the Smart Wine Guide to Wine. It's Which written is... on the back of a business card. Oh, okay. Find out what sucks, don't drink that. No. <laughs> Find out what doesn't suck, drink that. Drink that. <laughs> and anything that you like is good wine, no matter what the, wine, the snobs say. Yeah. That's it, but right can here. you get an affordable good wine, or are we in wines paying more for the name and more for... Is that what we're paying for, the name? Oh, I, I think part of it is the name, but part of it is quality. And a lot of people have heard that wine prices are going up, everything's uh -huh. astronomical, you have to be James Bond, or you have to steal it from the store, like Leah Garchick will in her <laughs> second volume. Um, but on the other hand, I went through a local discount uh, beverage chain, okay. and I pulled out 10 wines, uh -huh. all under $5. Really? And every one of them is good wine. There's nothing that I wouldn't drink. Now, what I wouldn't drink is if you're at a party, they give you a glass of wine, you take one sip, you dump it in a potted plant, and you go for the beer. None of these are like that. Okay, so um, everything that we've got is, is really neat stuff. Um, this one right here, for instance, is really cheap wine. Um, cheap white wine. Cheap That's white wine. <laughs> cheap white wine is good stuff. Um, and this one is actually a terrific picnic wine. Um, this Which has got, would be on a hot day, and uh, or no? Um, uh, any listen, picnic, any time. Um, what you've got here is you got some fruit. You got smells like wine. It, uh, it does. It tastes like wine. Did we violate FCC rules or something by drinking this? No, they here? just cut away to the I bottle. Mean, uh, they're going to call the police. Yeah. You got, you got any more? Um, um, yeah. I, <laughs> uh, this bottle. Yeah, no, that's actually not bad. No, and this is under five bucks. That's three forty-nine. That's the cheapest here, which is why the label says cheap white wine. Hey, I got to ask you though. Um, I look at all these wines, and they're all white wines. Is yeah. it easier to find a cheaper white wine than a well, red yeah, wine? Well, yeah, because because white wine is less expensive to make. Okay. Uh, that's that's pure and simple. And but the neat thing about these wines that I pulled, these are all under five bucks. Uh huh. Um, and I pulled. But how out, did you know? I mean, you know these names, but how would somebody like me who doesn't know these go into a store and find? You know, I mean, you're looking at the bottom shelf yeah. here, probably. Well, I, this is all bottom shelf. I pulled every. Okay, I didn't just select and like, I know this wine, uh -huh. um, you know, this is quite a sumptuous with a bit of plumpness. Um, um, I didn't do that. I went and I bought every wine under $5. And then I tasted every wine under $5. And these are every wine under $5 and there's that not a dog good here. To you. Yeah, the, these are all the wines and there's not a dog here. Hey, there's so, some that are better than others. But so how do you know what is, I mean, after tasting it? Yeah. Uh, you don't have to have a great taste, but what's the give giveaway that it's really a bad uh, a bad wine? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, here, here, Lou, I'll just set him up and yeah, get him out of the park. It's huh? a, you know, it's it's a um, you know, it's kind of a gut level reaction. Yeah. you like it, you don't like but it. But there's a metallic taste. Is it a vinegary type of? I guess you know. It doesn't matter. Get away from it. It doesn't that, matter. Okay, that's I mean, what that's, you know, the snobs make you think it's got to matter. Uh, my okay? producer's is going, you're being a snob, John. Yeah. Uh, yeah you you know, know, you're absolutely right, though. Yeah, you're you don't have to correct. have a vocabulary to enjoy wine. Yeah. Yeah, no vocabulary at all. There are, there are a lot of people in this world who speak entirely different languages than we do, and they drink wine, and they can't describe it to us. Hmm. 
Yeah, think about that. Do, do you have a recommendation on one, or it does? Uh, I, I think uh, of this group. Uh -huh. Okay, um, I prefer these. Um, uh, you've now, got Glen Ellen, I, I, I'm familiar with that. Yeah. They do, and Sutter Home too. The, Sutter Home is uh, yeah. four seventy nine at uh, well, it was at uh, Lucky List. Yeah, time I was and there. you know four ninety nine, four seven. These are all between four and a half bucks and five bucks. Uh huh. Okay, and the the key, the reason I prefer these four is they taste more like wine. These don't have as much wa uh, uh, fruit taste. They don't have grape taste to them. Um, but all of these are very good wine. If you like wine with like oak, I mean, uh, this guy um, has a lot of, of oak in it, um, which a lot of people equate with expensive wine. Mm -hmm. um, this guy right here, I think probably Glen Ellen, uh, probably has more fruit taste and, and more, more, more wine taste. Um, all of these are a little bit sweeter than average, but they're not sweet wines. Okay. You know, you won't find anybody sitting on the corner down by the Civic Center drinking these out of a brown paper bag. <laughs> we got to take a quick break. We're going to come right back. Don't go away, okay? Cool. All right. All right. All right, here's the magazine we were talking about, Smart Wine. You're also on the internet, too, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah. The uh, most frequently visited wine site in the world. And Lou Perdue is our uh, wine expert who's been taking us through some of the basics of wine. Uh, now he's going to show us something of a slightly different variety. There, w there was the address here. We'll give it, we'll give it yeah. again before. Well, I, d I did want to tell people that they have to go out and buy a copy because we know where they live, we know where their kids go to school, <laughs> and if they don't buy a copy, Guido is going to show up. Guido. Guido, right. And so what do we got here now? You brought out some red Graceland. Oh, this is uh, what I call hunk a hunk of burning wine. Uh, this, is, um, uh, this is the official uh, Graceland um, uh, Elvis wine. Um, uh, we, you know, wine is terrific. I mean, we've got Elvis wine. He's dead. Oh, I've seen uh, we this have one. Uh, Dead Red. This uh, is great. And, Look at the cover. This Jer Jerry's the label uh, on this one. Uh, dead, but the wine lives. <laughs> dead um, Red. Uh, we've got oh, some wow. other um, uh, uh, interesting ones. Well, let me ask. You. Okay. These are all. Th are you, what are, you, uh, are what? they? Good wines to drink, or are they more like gag gifts? You know, I they're guess. they're all decent to drink. Yeah. Every one of them is decent to drink, but some people have a sense of humor. Yeah, I mean, I'd hate to open this. You know, um, yeah, I think toad they're counting hollow, on that. Salamander. Uh -huh. I was reading off. The Long toad uh, red. Yeah. Um, uh, th there, are, you got a blue jay here. Oops. Uh, the, the the blue jay here uh, is probably going to offend the hell out of a lot of PC animal rights guys because you notice the blue jay. Uh, it's like oh, death. Oh, no. Um, the, yeah, the, <laughs> yeah, the blue jay's going to do the fold up the wings and hit the ground <laughs> oh, real fast. Um, yeah, I don't know if the wine, I haven't tasted this one, so I don't know if the wine is dead uh, either, but there's a theme here. Have you noticed? There's a theme. Dead red, Graceland, we have a dead blue jay, <laughs> I got a dead blue jay, uh, duck soup, um, oh, and my. Groucho's dead, um, uh, I guess the salamander. I screwed it up here. Well, we've got a reptile and amphibian here um, that are kind of out of the loop, but beats licking toads. Can we uh, try one of these? Um, yeah, you want to lick? Oh, and we've got the uh, no snobs, um, uh, no snobs, no snobs. Um, red. Oh, you know, this, we, is, this is your label here. Yeah, this is our label. Right. Um, we um, we had a um, a march in um, Sonoma yesterday. Um, uh, <laughs> Two, four, six, eight. We all like to fermentate. What do we want? <laughs> Wine! When do we want it? Now! Yeah, um, I understand also yeah. that the police came along and wonder what the heck you guys were doing. The police did come along, but fortunately by the time she got there... Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. By the time she got there, we were in the local wine bar drinking wine, and she came in with her daughter. It's, a, um, it's an only in Sonoma thing. I said to the police woman that we were holding the owner hostage for a really expensive bottle of wine, and she said, oh, that's cool. <laughs> okay, um, <laughs> that's cool. Um, so we have a hostage situation, but let's don't take it seriously. Hey, we got to tell uh, people what's coming up on Monday's show after we sober up. Uh, you can learn about uh, <laughs> Qi Gong, an ancient form of Chinese healing from the master, and also the pleasant sounds of musical group Wild Orchids as they tickle the ivories. And a showbiz writer and former private eye shares her expertise on the early women of Hollywood. Also, a Berkeley mystery writer talks about her latest book. It's all coming up on Monday. Lou Perdue, thank you very much. 
Can we throw up that uh, her, his uh, inter, uh, internet address, his website right there? A lot of people throw up with that yeah. um, uh, as well. So you, you throw it up, we do it a lot. <laughs> Smart Wine Magazine, 800-895-WINE and smartwine.com. And, and I promise you, Lou, I will never again fall into the snob uh, aspect. We will be by to visit you. It's a nice coat. We'd hate to have something happen to that. <laughs> okay. <thanks for it. laughs> hey, that's today's show. Enjoy the weekend. We'll see you later. This is very good. Thanks. Cheers. To your help.